Hold on. It's Let's got charge in the battery. But wait, is parking brake on? Oh. Oh. Whoa! It's, oh. Are you kidding oh, me? I'm kidding. <laughs> what? What? It drives? Holy oh, crap. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Oh. The thing moves. Dude, what the heck? That's incredible. That <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Out of Spec Reviews video. You join me back at DGDG here in the San Jose area. They have multiple new car dealers and these are the folks who reached out to me and said, hey, I have a brand new Coda Electric sitting on the lot. Uh, like just crazy. It was sort of abandoned, forgotten about. It's still got the window sticker on there. If you want the full story on this car, take a look at a previous video. But it's actually the next day. And as I got back to my hotel last night, my friend Nick, who works over here, texted me. He said, we found the keys. They were in like some inventory managers back at the desk from 10 years ago, they lost the keys. And they're like, we found it. And they'll sell the car to me. I don't know, <laughs> we gotta figure out all the details. But what we're gonna find out now is, see if we can even get it to charge and run. The tires are completely deflated. It hasn't ran in 10 years. Uh, the odometer shows 50 miles. So we have a lot to explore. Uh, let's dig into it. The Coda Electric, we have the keys. We have a 12 volt jump box. We're gonna push it over to a level two charging station. Let's see if we can revive it. If we can, maybe even if we can't, I think I'm gonna try and find a way to buy it. We gotta work out the deal, but time, Time will tell what happens here. I am so pumped. Well, if you guys remember from last video, here's Nicole. What the heck are you doing over here? I got the pusher. This thing, it's the power pusher. Oh boy, bringing out the big guns here. <laughs> oh, this is way cooler than a golf cart and a tow strap. So, yeah, so I guess we got to put the 12 volt on it, get it in neutral, get the key in and then we'll push it. They're taking the electric spark to go get, I guess the jump box to get the tire pressure filler thing. Uh, I'm gonna sit in this and I'll probably get some diseases from sitting in here. And yes, the key works, it does turn on. We need, we do need 12 volt power. I heard it's a Miata 12 volt power. Huge thanks to my friend Robert from the Aging Wheels YouTube channel who I sent the video to that we filmed yesterday and he's like, I got an Alpine head unit. I got seats. I got XYZ. He's like, get the car. Well, I got the Coda guy. So uh, he's like, this thing will just be top tip top shape. Colton's going to do full paint restoration on it. See what's left on there. And then I'm going to have a brand new Coda to drive around. This is crazy. That's amazing. That's the first <laughs> time I've heard that. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just insane. Yeah. No, we got the whole plan for this car, but how are you guys going to sell it to us? You got to do like some weird bonding. I, I don't even know, to be honest. Yeah. Our, our DMV office, they're going to try and do something with bonding. Okay. State. And then. It sounds official. I don't, I'm, I'm an e-commerce guy, so I don't really know <laughs> anything about that, but we're going to go, we're going to meet them after this. Okay, cool. We'll figure out the logistics we'll, we'll and let our audience know. But what we're going to do now, at least, is put the 12 volt jump box on. I got the keys in my hand. We're going to crank it up, take a look at the official odometer, um, and then push it with the power pusher over to the level two charging station and see if it can even accept a charge. The LFP battery pack should be fine. I heard they're rock solid. I also heard this thing lunches 12 volt battery. So it definitely needs a 12 volt battery, no question. But um, man, the LFP packs seem pretty good. And Robert says he's got a couple extra modules if I need any, if some happen to be dead on this car. So either way, I think it's gonna live a pretty healthy life with us. And what a cool piece of history. It's such an ugly car. It's like been slept in by who knows who. And we're gonna restore it and make it look perfect. So I cannot wait for this. Just going to be epic. And I gotta frame this window sticker. So whoever removes this, we gotta be super careful. <laughs> That's great. I love it. The Spark Electric golf cart. Things a ripper. This is actually working. It's coming up off the ground down here. We don't have a tire pressure gauge, but we're just going to where it looks better than it is now. And uh, then the power pusher will take over. I see it's actually got a dent. Do I, do, wait, do I get a discount for the yeah. dent? For the dent? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're. <laughs> yeah, I think it's been flooded. It's as is, as we say in the dealer group. <laughs> yeah. As is, no manufacturer warranty. <laughs> All right, well, we got the tires pumped up and it actually like took the ground with the tire as they came up. Like, look, literally the ground is absorbed into the tire. Um, Nick's gonna do a, a start for us. So we got a 12 volt jump box on the back, Nicole? Yeah. Okay, great. So let's see what happens gonna, when we 
That's I'm gonna need to take a shower after this. It doesn't actually smell as bad as you would think. Oh, look at this thing look starting that. up. It's oh oh. What is that? Fifty miles on the nose. Thirty percent charge. What? That can't be. It's got charge in the battery. Wait, does it move? Um. <laughs> drive. Hold on. Does it? Hold on. It's got charge in the battery. But wait, is parking brake on? Oh. Oh. Whoa! It. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm kidding. What? What? It drives. Holy oh. crap! You've got to be kidding me. The thing moves. Dude, what the heck? That's incredible. That is... The, the... brakes don't really work. Yeah, I know. I was um, going to say, like, I hope you have an exit plan. It has 50 miles on it. And 30% safe. So the battery's just it's set healthy. 30%. So I don't know if anybody tried to charge it. It couldn't... There's no way that could have been. Yeah, it's, if it was years. sat at 100%, what would drain it? Once the 12 volt dies, Nothing, it just yeah. sits. Yeah. Dude, so the battery's good. Wow. You have got to be kidding me. Should we wanna, see if it charges? Do you want to drive it? Yeah, hell yeah, I want to drive it. How fast can this thing go? <laughs> can it do a burnout? <laughs> oh my God. I can, I'm just, no, so I, we I didn't need the power right. pusher. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> <laughs> so it's. I want that power pusher here for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't power push it up the hill, did you? No. That was me yeah, driving? Yeah, it was under his own power. Wow. Look at the look at the LED. Uh, yeah, the LEDs screen. still work. Whoa. Um, all right, let's go drive this over to the charger. Holy <laughs> smokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might get a disease if you go inside. <laughs> all right, Nick's gonna ride with me over there in the coda. Uh, take a look at this, 30% state of charge. Do we have any, I just cannot believe that this thing works. Power output literally says 50 miles on the nose. Does the air conditioning? Yes. Are you kidding me? I don't want to be in here with the fans oh, on and that so thing. I have to sit Why don't you pants. sit in the back? No. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather sit in the front because I've seen what's in the back. What? What? Uh, what, is what this? this is plastic wrap. Um, we need to like. I have an idea. Yo, I, this is wrapping that's disintegrated. Oh, nice. Is relatively clean? Yes, I think that's the best option here. That's the state of this car. <laughs> Holy moly. Dude, should we see if the windows work? Yeah. Are you kidding there me? There we go. Windows work. Okay. This is crazy. Yes, but I don't turn it on. Yeah, because not when we're in it. <laughs> I did for a half a second and shut it off right oh, away. Oh, man, okay. All right, I'm going to hand this to yeah, you. Yeah, I'll take over filming. Okay, so we're, we're pretty much good until the jump box is gone, I guess. Into drive. Okay. Parking brake off. Wow. And, and I'm driving a Coda Electric for the first time. Dude. First time in a decade? It feels brand new. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. Should we try the brakes? Just a little rusty. Yeah, a little right? rust, yeah. A lot of rust. Yeah. Um, this is insane. It literally regens and it charges. I get so when I go here, it goes regenning. Oh my god, this is great. It's beeping at us for a seatbelt. It's like it didn't wow. even care. That's quick. <laughs> yeah, here's the power pusher. We did not need that today. <laughs> wow okay um it, it, does it even need anything it needs tires to, filters tires <laughs> filters the maybe just be a head in. unit <laughs> can you can you believe this <laughs> we're driving the coda it is epic. <laughs> we didn't even need the power pusher drag race Smoke. Dude, this thing's wow, fast. that's amazing. So you're gonna go left here. Okay. And then it has the slowest let's, steering. Let's back. go around the front because okay. no one's gonna believe this thing's actually driving. Right. I can't believe it's got 30% state of charge. But I guess it makes sense. Once the 12 volt died, it didn't have to keep anything afloat. That's amazing. And like the batteries just sat at the perfect state of charge for the last 10 years. 
This is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Everything works. So crazy. And I was talking to Robert too. He's like, I'm surprised the rear door handles work because they were like broken. But I think only one works, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only one of them. This one we tried to open and couldn't get it to work. Yeah. yeah. So right behind that ID4. Yeah. There's a charger. Okay. So should we just kind of back it in over here? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can back in like tail to tail. Yeah. Because I think the ports on the left, the cord should reach. Yeah. Wow. It's an old school Fiat charger. In the reverse. Yeah, so this used to be a Fiat dealer a while ago. Um, oh, really? So we still have the chargers from the 500Es. Steering feels good. Let's just go back as far as we can before we crash into someone. I just worry about the brakes like not working. <laughs> and there we go, in the park. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> This thing is fresh. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so now I guess to open the charge port. So we'll put the keys right here. Look, the original, I can't believe they found the keys. The Coda keys. It still has the stock tag on it with the stock number. Yep, that's crazy. This is like a barn find. And then this is how you open the charging port, but that doesn't actually work that well. So we're gonna try and pry the port open as we pull the latch because we can't seem to get this open. It does have a bit of a smell in there. <laughs> and uh, we'll unplug the, uh, oh, it's got the longest cable in the world, so we're good. And see how this thing does, like, if it charges. I think it's old school. I don't think it's a push and pull like the newer ones. No, I agree, but yeah. that's why I think it's a little a little button that's coming from this side that needs to be. Okay, so kind of not, not on it there. Let's. Uh, I think it opens. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That was easy. <laughs> Right. Amazing. And look, okay. it's got the J port right there. Holy smokes, everything's kind of corroded. It looks like birds lived in here or mosquitoes or something. I don't know. Should I, should I unplug this first? Can you unlock the back? Uh, we actually need to keep that on in order for the car to. Oh, no, to do anything. Yeah. Really? To even so charge? The first charge. This might be its first ever charge out of the factory. That's, yeah, that's right? interesting. That's, uh, if it's at 30%, I don't know. Drum roll. We're in. Oh, oh, the okay, clicked. the charger clicked. Are you kidding me? I didn't think it didn't start. <laughs> <laughs> it does its, uh, vehicle charging. It doesn't have a charge indicator. Yeah. I don't know if it has a charge indicator. It may not. I'll pass this back well, to I'm you. I'm not hearing the uh, fans like Robert was saying we would hear. Maybe we'll give it a minute well, no, saying just to think about life. But no, it says it's connected right here. We got the orange charging light is on the dash we're at 30 percent that's crazy so we'll see if anything happens it's a pdi checklist over here yeah and so what was your name sir yeah steven or so steven so you had the keys this whole time it sat there so i just held on the car was just sitting in the back amazing amazing so glad we we uh we found you wow crazy i can't believe it works I don't know if it's charging or not, but uh, I'll call Robert and see if there's a way that, that we can know if it is. So taking a look in the trunk here, the car is powered by the uh, 12 volt jump box over here as it's charging. Yeah, real safe stuff here, safety first. And uh, <laughs> can you show us what's under the trunk again? Let's see. Under the floor, it looked pretty uh, hazmat yeah, level. I, uh, you might want to wash your hands. Disease. Yeah, don't know what's going on there, but no, it actually looks like- actually, I don't think that's mouse glue. No, no it's, not. it's not. I think it's just disintegrating plastic no, or... It's like in the... Huh. Just aging. No, it's just in there. Yeah, it's, it's just in there. Okay. Well, that that's all normal then. And the battery hasn't leaked out, amazingly. So, crazy. How about that? Well, guys, we brought it over here. We plugged it in. It's actually charging. We didn't really hear or see anything, but we're definitely, we plugged it in at 30%. It's been probably an hour and we're close to 50% state of charge right now, the LFP battery pack and no crazy noises or anything coming from it, but we did just get confirmation from Tom, right? Is yeah. that his name? We can sell it. We can, they can sell it. It's ours. And thankfully, you're not charging me anything for it. Nothing. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a free coda. For, well, it's really giving the YouTube viewers. There let's we be go. honest. Yep, yep. And uh, anytime you guys need it back, you're more than welcome We'd to. We'd love to see it when it's done. Okay, we'll, we'll sure. bring it back out here to California at some point. That we'll put good. it right in the showroom. 
and we'll, protect it. we'll make sure no one sleeps in it um uh, in maybe the next few months who cares <laughs> next week, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh just amazing so we'll we'll come back we'll do a delivery video when it's back time it. that'll be yeah. really neat um for now i'm probably going to unplug it leave it at around 50 percent state of charge um once i'll probably ship new tires out to you or something just so we're we're good to go there and um, then we'll full charge it balance the battery pack at the top and damn i cannot believe this thing runs this is the craziest craziest thing in history truly <laughs> and i gotta get the new uh alpine head unit from robert at aging wheels this is just the dream as some people would say <laughs> that's our coda we're gonna have a lot of videos with it coming so a huge thank you to dg dg for essentially giving us a brand new coda uh truly it's just an insane story these guys are great i'll leave a link to their electric car inventory in the description below you have 401 electric cars for sale right yeah, now so this afternoon is 402 402 excuse me yeah. and that doesn't even count the like 48 nexos you guys have so so much to come from here but that's such a neat update on the coda it's ours we have a whole bunch of paperwork to go through in terms of actually retailing the vehicle technically the it's hard for them to retail a vehicle that they no longer have the franchise for because it's never been registered so there's a whole process to go through with this i'm sure we'll get it figured out and uh, either way there we go our new coda can't believe it started it drives feels pretty good to be honest and um, just a cool piece of EV history now in the out of spec garage. So thank you all for watching another out of spec reviews video. See you on another one soon. Bye-bye.